This morning, let's take a moment to consider the context of Amos chapter 5. Israel has been its own independent nation, apart from Judah, for about 150 years, and has had nothing but ungodly leaders throughout their nation's history. As a nation, they're plagued with idolatry, surrounded by enemies, and corrupt to their core. But how many guidelines of God did this nation blow past as they were veering towards destruction? Well, let's consider just a two of the statutes God establishes for kings and families to remain on the correct course. First of all, kings were commanded in Deuteronomy 17 to record their own copy of the law so that it would be ingrained into them. Something we don't see in the case of Israel's kings. As for families and raising children, in Deuteronomy 6, we see that the command of God was meant to be integrated into their lives, spoken about and lived out before their children. When these measures were ignored though, the people became wicked and God is forced to punish his people as we see in Amos chapter 5 when he says, Hear this word that I take up over you in lamentation, O house of Israel. Fallen no more to rise is the virgin Israel, forsaken on her land, with none to raise her up. The image of a young woman being killed whose whole life is still ahead of her is the picture being used to reveal the broken heart of God over Israel. This nation, which God had so much in store for, chose to abandon the relationship and all of their good things God had in store for them. The corruption and chaos that we read about in chapter 5 of Amos should never have been the outcome of this nation, but due to the rejection of God's commands and of his authority, there is nothing left for them at this time other than destruction. What we see in Amos 5 is that God doesn't rejoice over punishment. In fact, it breaks his heart to see his people suffer. Ultimately though, God allows those things so that his people will return to him. Today, let's remember that while God is entirely loving, he is also entirely just to punish sin. Don't run from him, but run to his grace and mercy he offers freely to those who will accept it.